when um when they closed that to 60 when from 16 point lead and it got real tight at the end what did you guys go away from what did you guys kind of lose that allowed them to come back and close it up uh i think oh you know it was in the bonus so i think towards the end um a lot of these shots was a lot of free throws uh, so I feel like they was getting like to the rim. They was calling, getting a lot of fouls called for them. Uh, so the free throws kind of helped get back into the game. They gave them momentum. Uh, cool to the big three. Uh, Trez had a big end one. Uh, the crowd got into it. So, but you know, we just called timeout. Everybody got focused. Um, and we tried to go out there and just win the game. And then on the flip side, what does that do for you guys in terms of coming together to be able to pull out a game like this where clearly you were pushed? Uh, well, you, as you know, uh, a lot of our guys, the 10 year vet, so, you know, they've been here. You know, it's nothing new for them, that type of game. So I feel like they were all composed and they were, they just, they were just trying to play their best to win the game. Hey, what's your confidence been like the last game? Seems like it's each game you get under your belt and you know, you look a little bit better each time out there. Um, well, just the staff and my teammates telling me I'm doing, keep doing good, you're doing the right thing. Uh, everybody just, while I'm, while I'm playing, they just uh, telling me the things that I need to do while I'm on the court, and I'm just listening and taking everything so I can make myself look better and win games. You guys had a great first half offensively, the best half of the year. Uh, but did you do you feel like, in a way, you guys were just getting into an offensive match with them, kind of trading baskets and not playing as good a defense as, as you need to be to, to be at your best? Um. Well, Steve says all the time that we that we um, we a defensive team first before offense, and uh, so tonight we was going back and forth a little bit, bucket for bucket, uh, but we stepped up when we needed to make the plays that we needed to make on defense, and uh, th those plays helped us win the game tonight. When Steve was in here, he was talking about you specifically and the adjustments that you had to make uh, to the program, talking about how. Uh, you know, there's a lot more space on the floor. You're having to deal with guys out in space that can make plays. Um, in your mind, what's been kind of the biggest adjustment for you to become a pro? Try not to foul. <laughs> Shoot, I averaged like three fouls first half every game. Uh, but, um, you know, a lot of things like I like in the restricted area, if somebody driving in, I got to jump. You know, I didn't know that. So I got a foul call for that tonight. Uh, but it's like I just got to. You no, know, stop fouling so much. You know, I don't think it's a foul, but they call it foul. So I just got to find a way to be effective on defense like I am and not foul. So what's that process like? I mean, is it stuff you can watch on film? You're just kind of still learning which ref calls what? I mean, how, how's that? You know? Man, I feel, like, I feel like I ain't got none of the refs on my side. I don't get no love. <laughs> I be trying to talk to the refs, too. Y'all going to look out for me this game? They tell me to begin the game and look out, too. So in the first place, still get a foul. And I still, like, you know, I love the refs because sometimes they call. Sometimes they let some go, sometimes they don't. But um, you know, I just gotta figure out how to stop fouling so much so I could be a more productive on the court. Michael Grady. Okay, limiting fouls is an area you say you want to improve, but what do you feel like has been your biggest area of growth since you started getting minutes to right now? What's an area that you feel like you've really improved in? Um, I would definitely say uh, on defense playing drop. Uh, during the summer league, we, you know, they introduced the thing, introduced drop to me. Um, I wasn't really getting it tonight. At the beginning of the first half, uh, I was doing it, but I wasn't doing it right. And they told me what I need, really needed to do. So I'm just work, trying to, like, get better at working on drop and um, just, like, letting the guys contest them at the rim, you know, instead of always jumping off my feet early and letting the big guy get open. Uh, so I'm really trying to work on that more. I feel like I'm getting better every game. And how much fun have you had developing that chemistry with James Harden? Nick Claxton calls those passes in the lane free money. Um, how have you been able to establish that relationship and that chemistry out there with James? Well, like Nick said, it is free money. Um, and James tells me all the time, man, you you can make all your money just um, screen there and roll it for him. Uh, you know, like guys always worry about him coming off the screen. So when I'm, I'm just rolling hard and I'm walking in the basket. So I'm going to continue to do that. Christian.
<clears throat> hey, what's up, Dayron? It, it seems like every rookie on the net so far has gotten their chance in the starting lineup, and, and now you're kind of riding that stretch. I'm wondering, A, when you got drafted, did you think that you would end up starting for this team at any point this season and B, what it's like to actually now be starting for this team during the stretch? Uh, a, I don't think I was, I was going to start uh, this season at all. Uh, I thought I was going to, you know, come off the bench, provide uh, a little spark off the bench, but I wasn't expected to start. Uh, what, what was B again? No, just what it's like, what it's been like starting for you. This, oh, these games. Um, you know, it's a dream, man, playing in the NBA, starting the NBA. Um, definitely a first year on a championship contender team um, and just not be able to start, but actually be able to help the team win. You know, I'm not, I'm not just on the court. I'm actually trying to help the team win. I'm actually doing productive things. So it's, um, it's a good feeling. Everyone, since you've been getting extended run, who's been the fouls aside? Who's been the toughest center you've had to deal with down low? Just big in general. Um, probably the first game when I had my first ten point game, we played his Nurkic. Nurkic, he was it was hard to like his weight. It was all on me. Like one time, I hit him. He like I was trying to go box him out for the office rebound. He seen me, so he hit me first. I felt that all through my whole body. I like damn. <laughs> I don't know if I keep banging with him, but, you know, I, I like to bang down with big guys. Um, So, you know, I just kept going. Um, I say uh, Valis Jonas, too. He was a big guy. Um, Steven Adams, too. Steven, he he just let me boss him out. And then as soon as I get un in front of him, he just moved me out of the way. So I feel like I got to keep getting stronger. I'm going to keep battling against the guys like that.